Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of these two power supplies. This, this is the FSP Aurum CM series and I have the 650M and 750M power supplies here, both uh, 650 watt and 750 watt and the M means that they are modular. So for starters we're going to take a closer look at the 750 watt version here and uh, let me just peel off our shrink wrap right quick. There we go. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start here on the front. Of course, uh, FSP, and it has, has a five-year warranty, just to point that out right off the bat. So they are standing behind this product. Also, it is an Aurum Gold. Aurum means gold in Latin, uh, so it's, it's, it's kind of a double name there. But the gold is meaning that it's actually 80-plus gold certified. They also have an NVIDIA SLI-ready uh, logo right there. So you can use this to run a couple video cards. Uh, also, ATI Crossfire X certified down there. This one's on the back. They're probably just keeping those logos separate, I guess. Uh, but here, let's take a look at the power chart. We can see this has a four-rail design here, so four 12-volt rails with 18 amps on each rail. Uh, also got two lesser rails here, uh, 720 and 160, and they're rating it for 750 watts overall. Uh, now, power supplies, there's a lot inside the power supply going on that we can't really show you, so I'm going to read off some of this stuff on the box. We have MIA IC, which is Multiple Intelligence Ability Chipset, which is basically designed uh, to keep your system protected, to make sure that it's reading its uh, current, it's meeting its actual wattage rating. Uh, it's also got stuff like uh, power factor correction, uh, over voltage protection, uh, zero current switch on power factor correction, correction which ensures minim minimal energy wasted on switching. Also, we have the Aeroflow technology for regulated outward airflow. Uh, we also have the Hybrid Synergy 12-volt rail design. Uh, hybrid Synergy design on 12-volt rails with max loads, pledges high uh, compatibility graphics with, with graphics cards and systems. Uh, also, an active power factor correction of uh, greater than or equal to 99%. Full safety approved. Quiet and durable cooling. Uh, low profile flat cabling system. Uh, also, we got uh, high quality Japanese made capacitors rated up to 105 degrees Celsius and SB ready, which I'm going to say stands for Sandy Bridge ready for Intel's newest platform of Sandy Bridge CPUs. And I mentioned that it is 80 plus gold certified, and that uh, is referring to its efficiency. So, for the actual power it's drawing from the wall, it will be effectively using 87% of that at 10% load. 87% of that also at 80% load. Actually, I should say that's 20 and 80% load for the 87%, and 90% uh, efficiency at 50% low, and that's what you gotta meet in order to get that 80 plus gold certification. And now for an unboxing. Uh, again, I'm using the 750 watt version here. There are very minor differences between the two, uh, but for starters, you get a FSP power supply quick start guide, multiple language there, languages there in alphabetical order. Uh, let's see, I have a couple extra boxes here with accessories. This one is very light because that's all that's in it. But they're giving you here a little stack of Velcro cable ties. Uh, looks like you get three of them there. Some heavy duty Velcro on there, so keep your cable management nice and tight. You also get thumb screws that are black to mount the power supply to your case in the back. And you also get a Power by F powered by FSP little case badge for your case to display proudly. FSP is actually an OEM, so not only are they selling you this power supply, but they actually manufactured it, which is nice to know. Uh, again here, well I should say again, but here is the power supply itself, and you can see going with the Aurum gold theme, they have some gold labeling there, a uh, very quiet fan there inside. Uh, you also get, of course, your FSP logoing. It's got sort of a rough texture on the side. Looks pretty industrial, uh, pretty tough, I must say. Again, there on the back is your uh, power chart, which I already showed you guys, so don't need to worry about that. Uh, again, this is a modular power supply. It is partially modular, so you get modular cabling here uh, for your serial ATA, your peripheral connectors, as well as what I'm guessing is going to be a PCI Express connector. And then here in this batch, you get your uh, cables that you most likely will need all the time, such as your uh, 20 plus 4 pin uh, main motherboard connector there for your motherboard. 
This, uh, again, is a 750 watt version. In the 750 watt version, you get both an 8 pin EPS connector for supplemental motherboard power. You also get a 4 plus 4. Uh, if we were looking at the uh, 650 watt version, uh, which is over here on my right, you get just the 4 plus 4. Uh, these are running off of the same cable there, so uh, that is really the only difference cabling wise between these two power supplies. Uh, of course, you also have um, some hardwired. PCI Express power connectors, both of these are 6 plus 2 pins, so you have a couple 8 pin connectors available there for your power supply, er, for your video card power needs. And next up here's a look at our modular cables, and bear in mind that the modular cables that you get are the same for both these 650 and 750 watt versions. Uh, so for starters, here, here is our other PCI Express power connector. Uh, you'll notice that these are, cables have a flat cable design, so if you tie them down nice and tight, you will have a very nice airflow in your case. Uh, this one, for example, has two PCI Express power connectors on the end, so that gives you four total uh, for either the 650 or 750 watt version. Uh, also, I took the liberty of measuring these cables to determine how much cable length you have, and measured from just below the base of each plug on either side, you get about 21 inches of cable length. So um, should be plenty of cable link there in most cases to reach from your power supply to the peripherals or whatever you need to plug in. Uh, next, speaking of peripherals, let's move on to our peripheral cables. Uh, this one is pretty simple, just has a single Molex and a single serial ATA plug. You get another one here with three serial ATA plugs. You get another one here with two serial ATA plugs and two Molex plugs. And then finally, your last one here has two serial ATA plugs, two Molex plugs, and a floppy plug. And that's going to wrap it up for our unboxing and overview. Once again, this has been the FSP RMCM series of 80 plus gold certified power supplies, the 650M and 750M partially modular power supply series. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel for more tech videos just like it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.